Hello and welcome to Earth to Total in Fusion 360 in AG1000, the engineering design. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you about a common pitfall I saw in last year testing. So when I test the pump, I saw that many students they didn't put the glue here properly. So therefore, when they apply a big torque into the shaft, the shaft falls off the pump and therefore they cannot generate any flow. And the pump can be considered as broken. So there are many ways to avoid this situation. The first way is that put the glue properly, and that is. The second way is that you can 3D print your shaft and make a key connection. Or you can extend you the steel shaft. However, you can use the engraver or maybe cutter to cut a small key over there to make the key connection between the shaft and the impeller. Now I just show you one of them. So here I have done this one. This is my key connections. So I just put them out for you to see it clearly. You can see that I don't have the shaft at a cylinder. I have a key over here. Now let's pull it out. Yep. Just pull it out. Now you can see that. Um, do one more time. So just pull this one out. Yep. Okay. Now if you can look over here, that I don't make it. I don't make it the whole cylinder. I make a key connection over here. And on the other side, I also make a key connection for that like this. So I cut off a quarter of the cylinder and make this one. Now I assign them together. Let's try to align them first and see how it works. So now I can use align to align this space with this space. Should be okay now. So, if you see from outside, it's really hard to see the gap because I make the gap maybe about half millimeters or maybe 0 0.1 millimeters, something like that. Very small one. You can you barely see it from outside. Now we see the movement of this one. So we try to make the willingness joint and we move this one and this one. Yep, and we select the revolutions and snap. To this one, something like that. So now if you can see my revolutions. And I animate the revolution. So now you can see that my rotation go together. And it's, it still needs some glue to attach each other. But when you rotate it, uh, the material go in to take the stress, not the glue. So therefore, you can see it rotate properly. So when you try to make the key connections, you can just simply draw this one from the sketch, like 8.2 millimeters. And then you can do like I did before. So I make a quarter of something like that. And I trim the part I don't need. So here you can be a part of this. And when you try to make the key connection for the shaft, you just offset it in. So you use the offset and then click on this and choose maybe 0 0.1, something like that. From each side should be eight letter and finish the sketch. So from one side you can H2 to get the impeller, and from the other side you can H2 to get the in the shaft. This one have a bad thing that you have a um, acute angle right here. So maybe you can choose another way. So maybe you can choose. Um, Let's say 
Maybe you cut off a quarter from here. Yep. And then you can trim off the part you don't need. Yep. And now you can offset it inside maybe minus 0 0.2, something like that. Yep. So this way, this one goes into have an obtuse angle and therefore you can support a better stress. But this one may be not as firm as the quarter cut like I used to do. It's just my opinion. You can try a different way and cut it in the way you want. And that's it. I hope this can help you a lot when you try to simulate your pump. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in the next tutorial.